Good morning, day 26, Coffee Sketch Jan 2022. Here's the one coffee mug cup that I have yet to sketch. So this may be in the final countdown here. <laughs> All right, let me get a sip of that delicious, delicious coffee. Good morning, everyone. We're on day 26. We are almost there. <laughs> How's it feeling, right? Because now, like, I feel a little homicidal when I can't figure out what coffee cup I'm gonna try. <laughs> I feel like sometimes I'm like, I have, I'm out of ideas. I am out of ideas, I am out of ideas, I am out of ideas. And yesterday I was walking down the street going, ah, where am I gonna, there's people, there's, where am I gonna go, right? And um, I had my dogs with me, <laughs> and they, these two girls were standing there talking to their dogs, and they're like, are you that artist that paints coffee cups? <laughs> I was like, why, yes, I am. <laughs> and they're like, oh, it's so great. It's so cool. Oh, and I'm like, oh, thanks. And like, what's next month going to be? I'm like, oh, my God, I don't know. So then I, I was like, wow, I have been spotted in Mexico City, right? <laughs> I've been called out. And I'm like... And then I sat down to do a coffee cup, and I, I couldn't remember how to draw. <laughs> I'm like, I have no clue how to draw. So I did, um, I got myself a little macchiato, which is in the glass cup, right? And I just did direct watercolors because I really felt like, you know, I think every artist has moments of like, I don't know how to do this. I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know how to do anything. So I just, just, just put my brush and paint and I was like, well, this is gonna be one that I'm not gonna post because it's gonna be awful and everyone's gonna know I'm a fraud. And so I'm not even gonna admit to doing one today. Something came up, I got a toothache, whatever. <laughs> I go through all these things of like, why I'm a failure, why I'm a fraud. And then in the end, I'm like, ah, I kinda like that. Whatever I just did there, I kinda like, right? <laughs> All right, let's get to the warm-ups because I'm going into my Zoom sketch sessions after this. All righty. Did I get that lined up? <clears throat> kind of. A little higher. There we go. All right, let me have a sip of coffee. Look at how beautiful this is. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful teal. I just ordered a tea kettle from these guys. No lead in their glazes. That's muy importante. I think I've said that before. I got a loose cap here. I do have a fresh Sharpie though. There's nothing like fresh uh, sourdough bread and a fresh uh, Sharpie to start the day, right? Oh, I know. I'm gonna do, today I'm gonna do, oh my God, this is so new. I don't like new, new. I mean, I love new, new, but um, it doesn't have that Megan energy in it yet, but it will get there. We will get there. Oh, got a little tape there. It's all right. Just keep going. When you hit a bump in the road, just keep going. All right? See what I'm doing here? I mean, I basically do the same warm-up every day, <clears throat> but I mix it up, right? Like, I, it's more about the practice of making lines for me, right? Like, making straight, tidy lines. That, I am finding, is very helpful in every area of art. Um, and for my thinking, because it calms me down. I don't like, the, I put too much tape on this, right? I got too many, ah! Um, you know, I see some of you doing your own style of continuous line that's your own style, and I applaud that. This is not about like, let's do exactly what Megan's doing. I will never be that kind of instructor, like let's, here, do what I did. Here, let me show you how to do what I do. Here, wait, no, that's not right. You should make it more like mine. Right? Here, no, do it this way. <laughs> I will never be that sort of 
and you know also I think like I don't even really like to correct people if that's even though that's not a good word but right like everyone's got a kind of I mean if someone asks for advice sure if I can you know provide some advice or support in creating your art sure but um you know I think we all have to just make lots of bad art <laughs> and be okay with it right because the bad art uh also means there's good art right you can't have one without the other so, uh, and by doing these sorts of exercises, my drawing is being catapulted. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing so much. Now, don't get me wrong, this coffee challenge is not like, oh, let's all be better, let's get better, right? We all have to improve. I mean, that's a nice bonus, but it was really like, I knew this month was going to be funky with the whole COVID thing, right? Like there's just weirdness, the whole deal, whatever way you look at it. So I wanted a place where people could just go and lean into their art and with a community of folks that just, you know, just want to work on their art and make pretty art and tell stories and connect with other folks that are doing the same, all right? So that's what, that was my intention with this. Not like, oh, I'm going to make everyone a better artist. Well, that's a nice uh, side effect, right? Because it's happening for me. I'm becoming a stronger artist. And I feel like I'm the energy that I'm infusing into my art is getting... Um, it's getting wilder and it's getting more studied, right? You know, does that make sense? Like, it's, it's stronger and... Um, looser all at the same time and I love it right I since being here in Mexico City I you know with this whole COVID thing hit the music stopped right like I noticed in Mexico you always heard m music everywhere right mariachis uh, there's always music right well the music stopped among other things right and now in Mexico City, it's, you know, I hear it a little bit, but um, the music seems to be a little quiet these days. But I uh, stumbled onto this uh, drum line, this Mexican drum line. I actually saw them at the Dia de los Muertos parade in 2019, back when, before everything went to heck. Anyways. I started following them, forgot about them, right? The COVID hit. <clears throat> but they reemerged this year, well, last year, at the uh, because the uh, Muertos Parade came back. So there they were, and I've been listening to their music. I went and I drew them on location when they were performing on um, Solstice, right? And the music just like, oh my God, it was like music. It was medicine to my heart. It just like blew up my heart in a good way, not in a heart attack way. <laughs> um, it just, it like revived me in a way because I've been in the bunker for two years and I know a lot of other folks have been too. And now I know some people are traveling as if nothing has happened, <laughs> nothing is different. But by and large, I would say a lot of people have been, uh, you know, so our social lives have changed drastically as has our travel lives, right? So. I tripped on this music and I am just finding ways to continue to get that medicine. The drums, the music, the rhythm. And I even bought myself a little drum. <laughs> bought myself a few instruments here so I can like, <laughs> when I wake up in the morning, I put the drum on my chest and I beat it. Not real loud, uh, cause I have neighbors. And um, I'm just trying to infuse that energy of music. The thing that makes my heart sing, I'm trying to incorporate it into a very different world now. Look at this. I'm done. I was like, I'm never going to finish this. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Can you see how that line... 
I'm just gonna admire my lines for a moment <clears throat> while I take a sip of delicious Oaxacan coffee. Look at that, it's like a boardwalk. I love it. I don't think I've done this one before. Mm. It's vibrating, right? I Because when I was doing it, I was talking about the thing that makes me happy. Music, drums, like just kind of getting in touch with it because I feel like I haven't heard music in so long, right? And I'm still not really seeing people, but I can listen to music. It's because I don't know people, right? It's not like I'm a <laughs> recluse. It's just kind of the way things are right now. Anyways, energy, lines, love, life, energy, right? Um, okay. That's a beautiful thing. Let me put this to the side because I'm going to do... You know what? I feel like with these continuous lines, like I kind of have my thing with it and I see a lot of you are developing your own thing with it, right? Like I was using it to do coffee cups and then I went to pastries and well, you've seen the whole thing, but I feel like it's for a lot of folks, it's, it's storytelling, right? It's like, it's like unwinding your stories, right? Like, well here, this cup reminds me of my grandmother with that, that of course that reminds me of my mother and you know, my mother and I used to eat popcorn together and um, you know, we'd go, you know, just like the whole thing, it unwinds a story. And, but you have to kind of like, uh, let it go, right? Like you have to lean into your lines and um, trust that they're telling you something, right? I mean, that sounds very hocus pocus. Some people would be like, yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and that's cool. You can have that belief, but I like to believe in magic and that lines can help me feel better and help me tell my story and help me share my art with you and uh, the world, right? With Mexico City. I'm totally in love with Mexico City. I want to just draw everything. So um, I am from Chicago, though. <laughs> so um, I thought, well, oh, my bracelet is coming off there. Let me take that off. All right, <clears throat> all right, so I had, uh, I, I am from Chicago and I love Chicago and uh, gosh, I'm really glad I don't live there. I am looking at a uh, reference photo because <laughs> I don't remember. I used to live over here in Streeterville, right? And so I'm just doing, um, I'm doing a city skyline, right? And I'm, I've never done it this, I've done things where I'm like this and this. The Hancock. I used to live right behind the Hancock. There was a cheesecake factory down there and I used to get their strawberry cheesecake. <laughs> it was so awesome. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just kind of, I wanted to get the, like the, the big boy in there, but now I'm just kind of, and then, then there's the Bloomingdale's, right? And then everything else is like vanilla condos, right? All very, well, there's still some obviously great architecture in Chicago, uh, but... Oh, let's see. Hey, there's the Playboy right there. <laughs> I don't think it's the Playboy anymore, but um, the Drake, all that, right? So look at that. Just very quickly, I did the Chicago skyline, which I know is frozen right now, right? So I'm just doing this because I know right now it's frozen, right? And it is, a, I've been out on the lake when it's, frozen ice chunks and it's like you're in outer space it's so cool <laughs> <Whoosh>. <laughs> all 
Alrighty, let's see here. I've never done the Chicago skyline in this manner. Um, so let's see here. Icy, ice chunks. Well, no, the trees would not be green right now because it's winter. So I'm gonna just do a little bit more of this. The whole uh, lakefront bike path with all the people and um, Now, let me see if I can wreck it here in the final seconds. Woo! Right? Winter. A winter sky. Now, I'm using just copy paper, so this is, uh, this is going to be, you know, copy paper results. But <laughs> it's more like just to give you an idea of, like, you can do anything with this, right? Um, if I were using good paper, how am I doing on time? I could bring it down, right? Bring it down, bring it down. Well, this is copy paper, so it's not budging <laughs> a little bit, right? Darkness falls over the city. Always dark in winter. Oh, my God, so depressing. There, it kind of looks like it's snowing or something a little bit, right? And I don't know if this is going to work on here. But when you put salt on these inks, it looks very icy. It changes it to like a frostiness, right? So let me just put a little, see what happens with that. What color do I have? There. There's the, uh, you know, that thing that comes out, that goes out to the pier so you can look at the lakefront here. So. Yeah, there we go, Sweet Home Chicago. I haven't been there since. Last time I was there was when the Cubs were in the World Series. So <laughs> uh, that was the last time I was in Chicago. All righty, so where are you from? Can you tell me in your continuous lines, where are you from? Where is, where are you from? I'm from Chicago. I live in Mexico City now. And I was spotted on the street. Someone said, hey, you <laughs> All right, so today is Wednesday, it's the, right, and it's the 26th, so we are almost there, the 31st, right? I think next month, let's go with hearts, right? What do you, what do you say about that? Let's do hearts, okay? I gotta be traveling a little bit, I've got some things I've gotta go take care of, but let's do hearts. Okay, have a safe day out there, keep making your art, see you online, see you tomorrow, bye! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby.